2025 Mazda CX-70 First Look Review, Two Rows of Six Cylinder Style. Mazda has been on a roll in the last few years, and buyers in the USA seem to love what the automaker is producing. The brand has sold more than 360,000 vehicles in the United States in 2023 alone, a 23% increase over the previous year, and a large chunk of that is due to the brilliant CX-50 and excellent 3-row CX-90. Mazda's largest SUV reported impressive sales in its segment, and it seems the latest large platform vehicle, the new Mazda CX-70 2-row crossover, borrows some of that DNA. The CX-70 resembles its larger sibling, and it also comes with the same powertrain options, either a 3.3-liter inline 6-mild hybrid or a plug-in hybrid setup, the former available as a 280-horsepower base powertrain, or 340 HP in the Turbo S models. Here's everything you need to know about the 2025 CX-70. When is the 2025 Mazda CX-70 coming out? There's no official release date for the Mazda CX-70 just yet, but Mazda has said that the base models, turbo models, will be available in fall 2024. We expect the Turbo S trims to follow toward the end of the year. 2025 Mazda CX-70 Price and Competition The automaker says the price of the 2025 Mazda CX-70 starts at $40,445, excluding a $1,375 destination and handling fee. This is the MSRP for the base turbo preferred model, going up to $45,900 for the turbo premium. Premium plus models go on sale for $48,900. The more potent Turbo S derivatives will cost you at least $52,450 for the Turbo S Premium and $55,950 for the Premium Plus version. The PHEVs get closer to $60,000 with the Premium going for $54,400 and the Top Spec Premium Plus priced from $57,450. Core rivals to the CX-70 will include popular crossovers like the Hyundai Santa Fe and Kia Sorento, both of which start over $30,000 and offer three seating rows. These are also available in hybrid and PHEV models, with pricing for the plug-in starting in the mid-$40K range and surpassing $50,000 in the case of the Sorento. The more expensive Honda Passport starts at over $40,000, like the CX-70, is a midsize SUV that sticks with two seating rows. New Mazda CX-70 Exterior and Colors The exterior of the CX-70 isn't a radical departure from the rest of Mazda's SUV range, and it looks closer to the CX-90 than we originally expected. It has similar bold proportions and a broad and grounded stance. 21-inch wheels suit the profile, and these will be available in two brand new designs. Base models roll on 19-inch wheels and 21s become standard higher up in the range. Up front, the CX-70 gets a gloss black honeycomb grille, complemented by a rear roof spoiler in the same color. There are bigger air inlets in the front fascia than on the CX-90, and the headlight clusters are actually understated, with pictures showing a slim strip of light linking those to the grille. All LED lighting is included from the entry-level trims, and a panoramic sunroof is standard across the lineup. Turbo S models get a few extra features, including a rear spoiler, unique honeycomb grille, pillar, and side profile garnishes, and signature headlights with adaptive front lighting. As far as exterior colors go, the Mazda CX-70's palette features the prerequisite Soul Red Crystal and Zircon Sand, which we loved on the CX-50, and an all-new color called Melting Copper Metallic, the rather lovely rose gold look pictured below. Mazda CX-70 Estimated Dimensions Mazda is keeping mum on many of the details and specs of the new CX-70 crossover, including its dimensions. We know it's built on the brand's large platform just like the CX-90, but that it will slot in between that car and the smaller CX-50 as the automaker's largest two-row crossover. We know it will be smaller than the CX-90, which has a length of 201.6 inches, 
a width of 84.9 inches, a height of 68.2 inches. We expect a length closer to 190 inches, for reference. Curb weight is likely to start at around 3,800 pounds. Mazda CX-70 Engine and Performance When it comes to the engine lineup for the 2025 Mazda CX-70, there are two options to choose from, either a turbocharged 3.3-liter inline-six with M-Hybrid Boost, a mild hybrid, in two states of tune, or the eSky Active GPHEV, plug-in hybrid, that maximizes performance and efficiency. We review the CX-70 PHEV separately. In the base gas models, the 3.3-liter turbo mill makes 280 horsepower and 332 lbft on regular fuel. Performance specs, including 0 to 60 times and top speed figures, haven't been announced yet. The Turbo S trims get a tweaked version of the inline-6 engine, noted by the automaker as being the most powerful mass production gas engine developed by the brand, with specs of 340 HP and 369 lbft when using premium fuel. These models come with sport, off-road, and towing modes. All-wheel drive is standard, and an 8-speed automatic will be rowing the gears. Mazda says the CX-70 will be able to tow up to 5,000 pounds when correctly equipped. Gas Mileage Gas mileage figures for the 2025 CX-70 come in at 24-28-25 mpg on city-highway-combined cycles, while the Turbo S models with their potent 340 HP powertrains attain 23-28-25 mpg, not a massive difference in fuel economy for a significantly more powerful engine. Mazda CX-70 Interior and Cargo Naturally, the interior of the new Mazda CX-70 is similar to the larger CX-90, and that's a good thing. We love that classy and uncluttered cabin, and the automaker promises the same high-quality materials and craftsmanship here. The CX-70 does get the option of a new red Napa leather interior, inspired by the 100th anniversary special edition MX-5, which is complemented by black height on the steering wheel, dash, and door cards, all featuring double stitching. There are also contrast gray metallic inlays as standard to enhance the sporty feeling inside the CX-70. Mazda has also made a 10 interior available with two-tone accents. Other than changes to the interior colors, the 2025 CX-70 is also the first Mazda crossover to feature Alexa built-in, which opens up more voice controls for actions like changing the temperature or radio station. It also has a new trailer hitch view and features enhancements to cruising and traffic support. A brand new feature is unresponsive driver support, which automatically decelerates the car if it detects the driver is unresponsive. A 12.3-inch Mazda Connect Center infotainment display is standard from the base model, imbued with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The entry spec trims get a 7-inch LCD digital cluster, an 8-speaker sound system, and wireless phone charging. Automatic climate control and heated front seats are also standard. Feature upgrades as you move through the trims include a larger 12.3-inch digital information cluster, a 12-speaker Bose sound system, leather upholstery, a heated steering wheel, and seat ventilation. Although Mazda hasn't specified precisely how much cargo space there is in the CX-70, it has suggested that the packaging and platform lend themselves toward being generously specced in the trunk area, especially without a third row to worry about. The rear bench seat does fold down flush with the trunk floor, opening up the largest cargo area in the segment. That means it should offer more than the 72 cubic feet offered by the outgoing Hyundai Santa Fe. The rear bench seat can be folded down by accessing a button from the cargo hold, there's also the option to remote fold these seats in the Mazda CX-70. A sub-trunk with a cargo organizer is also standard. So you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Cause I don't give a fuck what you say, yeah I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks